I miss you. I do feel that. Yeah, there's a really strong connection between you guys. And you know, soulmates came up a lot here, three or four times, I want to say. Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your love messages. Love reading with me, Chris, of the Tarot Closet. Okay. Um, I just took your deck apart because I wanted to shuffle it, and look what just fell out. <laughs> this is from my last reading, but this is in the deck. That's crazy, so I'm going to keep it. This is meant for you. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Pisces! What? That's crazy. There it is. There you go. There's your overall energy. So this is for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Be sure to check your chart. See what else you have going on. Um, I do have playlists of other, of course, um, of all the other zodiac signs. So if there's another sign that you want to watch for that's in your chart. Also, welcome cross watchers. I'm really glad you're here. Keep in mind that not everything is going to resonate. So take what resonates, guys, and throw away the rest. Could also be that you find yourself resonating with a totem on the table or a totem that I pull at the end. I will be pulling totems, charms, or even just one particular message here in the Wisdom of the Oracle, a picture. Something might come out for you at Lover's Oracle later, Romance Angels Oracle, which we've already seen. And I'm also reading today from my Twin Flame and Soulmate Energy song lyrics deck. So this is messages directly to you through song from your person. And also my tarot closet love messages also to you from your person. So there could be something there for you. I hope you stick around to see what do you have for our Pisces today. Other than this amazing divine timing card. Look. Okay, wow. Why? This was, that's interesting. This was also uh, coming up in... Um, the last reading, I want to say actually that was Taurus. Yeah. So here's the thing. You have questions, Pisces. I know that was Cancer. Excuse me. You have questions. Could be that your person is a, a Cancer. I'm just going to put that out there. That might not resonate with everyone, but maybe that one person because you have a card coming through that was stuck in the deck from the Cancer reading. And this was also uh, number two in the the layout for you, or excuse me, for cancer, asking why. And I feel like you're here because luck, no place like home. I feel like you're here because you want to know what happened. I, I think that you don't have any answers, Pisces. Okay, so somebody is indecisive here. Now, this is also number four, <clears throat> excuse me, and this is about manifestations and stability. And so I do feel like that that has been rocked. And it could be for some of you that you were or you are um, married to this person or you shared a house or an apartment. That's not going to resonate for everybody. But I feel like for some of you, you could still be um, in a location with them. But I do see that you have questions. What, what happened? And we do have the... Um, home card here, which also is can be about feeling like you're at home with somebody. This is a love reading, so this would be you feeling that you are you found your person, uh, or your person has found you. So take that as it resonates, and it could be because we have between uh, worlds here that you or your person are indecisive, maybe have kind of one foot in, one foot out the door. So for those of you that are in a connection still that is possibly ending or recently ended, whether you were married or living together or not, it does look like that you are um, not getting along or not together. It really looks like this can be for some of you just a separation. You're not together. It could even be no contact, which is why you want to know what's going on. I feel like you don't know. 
And it could be that your person has just been oh, wishy-washy and not able to commit either way to what they want. Or even now, and this could also be you, but I really feel like this is your person, Pisces. And we have four here, like I said. So this is, you know, also about the foundation here. And look, this is, okay, that's what I wanted to say to you, but hold on a minute. <laughs> I'm all over the place here. To be fair, okay, so this is almost like getting the justice card. There's something that um, you guys need to clear up for sure that you want to know. You definitely have questions. And this is what I want to say to you. Now, this combination, it really could be that some of you, your person is a Cancer. That's not going to resonate for everyone, so don't worry about that. But what I want to say to you is this combination did come up <laughs> in the last reading. And the thing is, is you have questions here. And look, do you see these wings? And do you see these wings here? Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like you want to, you have questions and spirit wants you to be patient. You might not get the answers here today. You might not get the answers at all, Pisces, if you are not going to come back in union with this person. And spirit wants you to know that that's okay. And just to tell you that, send you this message that they are with you. They are guiding you here because you're asking the question and they're literally is the divine and here is the divine telling you it's worth waiting for so it could also be that it's worth waiting for the question for those of you that are really hoping and manifesting which four is also about um this love life this love back in your life i feel like some of you really want it back whether it's to connect again together because you are together maybe in the same location but not emotionally connected you're just um you know separated in that sense and then some of you I feel like you are physically separated from each other and for some of you it really could be long distance but something went on here and sorry to look for the couldn't see the number there there's a three again so or sorry a three which is about expressing yourself and it's also about can be about more than one person so in a three when it comes up in a love reading this won't resonate for everyone, but I do have to put this out here, put it out there that this can be about a third party. So for some of you, you could even be asking why, why did you do that or what happened? And you might not even know, or you may know, but keep in mind, this is not, I'm not telling your future and predicting things for you. Okay. This is the energy and you have free will. So your outcome is based on your decisions, Pisces. So don't be nervous, you know, when, if a card comes up uh, like that and you just think, what the heck is that? <laughs> Don't worry. And with the Justice card, that is a two. Um, it comes to a two in numerology, and that is about partnerships and balance. So I also feel like, and also between worlds, can be about the same thing. And I feel like that your person was not giving as much as you were. You might even have been overgiving, Pisces, which your sign, you know, your zodiac sign can do that because you are just such a sensitive, caring soul. Really interesting, though, because that is about um, some type of justice, something that needs to come out. It could even be for some of you this involves something uh, with a court case and whatnot, but this isn't that isn't going to resonate for everyone. But that really could be the case because we have the home card here, which is more about feeling at home. But it could be a, in a literal sense for some of you, and you know, for some of you that could involve a third party here. But that won't resonate for everyone. I do feel like the main thing is, is that you've come here with questions and you want to know what the heck's going on. And I do believe you're asking your person, and this is really connected here, that spirit wants you to know that they are with you and helping you through this. You're not alone in this. And you might not get the answer from them. It might need to come from within you something that you hear, something that you see, or a conclusion, you know, something that, that you've come to yourself that you just have figured out, look, not for you. Now, that's not going to be for everyone, but now, because six can also be about um, harmony and, and healing with another person. So it could be that somebody is going to be coming back, that they want to come back, and you might reject them. 
Now that's not going to be for everyone, but that could also be something that you're considering, you know, because there's a fortune cookie here that says, nope, <laughs> but you're also still playing a game here, you know, of chess with them. This is like about playing games and you're, you're just, you know, and like I said, I feel like your person has been wishy-washy, maybe ghosting you, maybe breadcrumbing you, or if you're married or you were partnered and living with them, it could be that they were unfaithful. That won't be for everybody or just in general, your connection, it could be that, but yeah, it just could also be that it's somebody that just was not being honest with you because you have what's almost like the justice card here, really, to be fair, and not for you. So I feel like you're still in these games with somebody and you're trying to figure it out because this is about your future. And some of you are not, it does look like some of you are, that decision is on the table. And that's the other thing I want to say about Between Worlds. That could also be a lot of you out there. I'm trying to make this decision about somebody. Is this the person that you want to settle down with, to stay settled down with, or to, um, do you really, are you, do they feel the same way that you feel? Because I feel like a lot of you are feeling really connected like, a sense of calm and, and peace with this person, or at least you did, and now it's rattled and it's been rattled for a while. So I do feel like some of you are trying to make this decision and some of you are also waiting for your person to, to tell you what's going on and to also make a decision because this also feels very indecisive to me. Like you can't decide where are you? You know, what, what reality are you in or what reality are they in? What do they want? What do you want? Who is this, Pisces? This is your reading, so I'm feeling like you're indecisive, but it could also be your person, and that's really part of what happened to you. Now, this also came out, look. Now, the thing about this, very interesting that it came right below the no place like home, because here we go, it's another five. They're both fives. They're both about um, instability and conflict and change. I do feel like you've been put through a change here, Pisces. And the other thing that the orphan card is not just about, some of you might see this and say, well, that, yes, they abandoned me, they ghosted me, or they left me. And I do feel that some of that energy going on here. But the other thing that this can be about is um, you. This is your reading. This is for you. Feeling um, like you're not belonging somewhere. Um, and I do feel like for some of you that it's a direct right underneath a card that's kind of talking about belonging, yet is a five, conflict and instability, that that is a lot of what's going on. Some of you also, this person might be coming back for you or might even be there now, you know, saying what you want to hear or whatever. And you're just making the decision here and, and thinking, well, you can't decide. Or they have been indec indecisive, but I feel like you're kind of feeling indecisive here. Very interesting because you, some of you are not, you know, you care about this person and some of you really love this person, uh, really, but you are just not sure that you're wanting a future with them, that you're feeling like you belong there. And if you look at this closer, you're wearing a mask here, so you feel like you can't be yourself with this person. That's the other thing about Orphan, you're not feeling comfortable. And look, it looks almost like a wedding dress. Now, this there's no gender here, so this is not about he, she, them. This is uh, just the um, the meaning behind it, that for some of you, you could have been living with them. It could have been that kind of partnership. For others, it could have been a broken engagement or just feeling like you're trying and they're not because you're there, you're, you're kind of, you know, you're in this beautiful dress, you're, you're dressed up put it that way, but you have a mask on and you have your head down. So you're kind of showing up, um, but you're by yourself. You're by yourself here and you, you know, and maybe things aren't matching. You're kind of, it's almost like you're waiting. And I do feel like a lot of you are waiting and you have the white card here. So some of you might be waiting for their decision too, and might maybe deciding that this isn't even what you want after all. Some of you have maybe already even decided that and you're here because you want to hear what your person has to say. So take that as it resonates, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces today? Can we get a couple more cards? 
these, by the way, are four leaf clovers. <laughs> I put them out today for readings and I've just decided to leave them out because they, um, well, they're all about luck. Some of you might even be Irish watching this. So either way, I wanted to, I usually have my lucky rock out, which I did not do today. And I just felt really drawn. Okay, we have a couple here. Look, wow, okay, before I get to the next one, I wanna say to you, so here's another five. Um, and this really piece, this could be literally about making peace with this person or even with yourself, but just also so you can move on because you have questions. I really feel like this is about you not getting answers to your questions. This is another five, conflict and instability, some change. Whatever this change was, whatever happened to you guys, you were not satisfied with with what you know or what you don't know or the answers you're still looking for. There's more that you want to know here. And I feel like uh, for some of you that you need to have that before you can move on, whether it's with this person or move on for yourself. But look, there's all the hearts there. And this bird is carrying like a branch. It's almost like, okay, yeah, that's an olive branch, I want to say, okay? Um, but I really feel like uh, this could be that you need to make peace with this person so you can move on. But here's the thing, Pisces. For some of you, it does look like this person has either come back already, is trying to, or will, and wants to kind of make a peace offering here and extend an olive branch. And as you know, that's a euthanism for, um, you know, kind of bridging a gap. It's like when you get a bridge totem, they really want to um, reach out. Yeah, I really feel like that this is your person coming and some of you are really deciding if this is what you want anymore. And this isn't going to be for everyone. And remember, you have free will, Pisces, what you decide. Okay, that's your outcome. Not what I'm saying to you. This is not a prediction. Okay, this is this is energy. And I see it all here. And you can see it for yourself, but how what the outcome is is based on you and your decisions. But look at this last card, okay? Soulmates. But look, that is a five. And there we go again with the change, with the instability, the the conflict. So you guys are definitely in some kind of conflict here, whether it's from another person or they weren't committing to you. Um, or just ghosting you, but something is going on or you feel like you've been abandoned in the relationship or you quite literally were, but also feeling like I said here with the orphan card that you're not really feeling like you can be yourself with this person or maybe they're not being their self with you, but I feel like it's more like you here and that some of you are going to be moving on. But here's the thing about the soulmates. Don't worry about that because there is more than one soulmate for everybody, okay? Um, there, there just is, and they come in every form, um, friends, family, uh, other, other lovers, partners, whatever. So I just want you to know um, if this is their energy coming through, and I believe that it is, that you guys did come together for a reason, obviously, um, that there is more than one. So if this is something you are moving on from, or you need to, and you're here to, to get some closure maybe, to know that that is a message for you, Pisces, okay, from spirit. It's, there is more than one, don't worry. And it doesn't negate what you had. It doesn't make your love any less. I mean, it, there's clearly a lot of love here, but something happened. Something happened and it's, it's really put you in an insecure place and you're not really sure. And I do see them coming back if they haven't already. And I kind of hate it when people say that they're coming back. But it just looks that this way, that they want to make an offering. And it could even be just a peace offering, okay? It could even be that that you that they're not coming back for the reasons you might think, you know? I feel like your person feels bad about what's happening or what has happened. And they love you too. But sometimes when we love people, it doesn't mean they're right for us, okay? Now, that's not, I'm not telling you that. This, you know, okay? And this is something you have to figure out for yourself with your connection here. But just know that um, even if they're just coming back to make some peace with you and, and apologize, 
that you can still move on. It's okay. And you're, you know, and that you will have another great love. I see that for you. And look, you know, this came flying out. It was from the last reading, as you know, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So whatever is coming for you is worth waiting for, Pisces. Let's read some Lover's Oracle. And I did, um, let's, where do we want to put this? <laughs> I did uh, pull the top card for you. This is yours. And then we will pull some more in a minute here. So if you want to take a look at that. There's a heart kind of vibrating. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Okay, well... So here's the thing, Pisces, it could be that you're separated from this person and they are coming back and they want to, they're not being honest about how they feel. That could be, okay? Because I, I know that that it's that's not going to resonate for everyone that you're choosing to move on. So this is going to be for you. But this can also be about a soulmate coming in, as I talked about earlier. And you might not even know that they're watching you. This could be someone on your social media, maybe even a friend that you've known for a long time. Did you ever do that when you were a kid where you said, hey, if, you know, with your with your friends, if, if I'm still single when I'm whatever, let's get married, like jokingly. It could be that kind of situation too. So let's get some more Lover's Oracle for you. Friendship. We just talked about that. Literally, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Okay, well, this is more about uh, with a person. So this is about your person. And it could be, like I said, for some of you that you're still living together and you share a place together, okay? And that you're feeling um, like maybe you don't belong together anymore and for some of you and you're considering leaving. And some of you are already apart. So it could be that you need to make this peace so you can be friends again. Whether you move on together or you move on somewhere else with somebody new, okay? But it is important for you, for your peace of mind and as well as theirs. But we do see that there's also a secret admirer for you. There is somebody watching you. Now, it could be your person who's not telling you how they really feel or how they still feel. But it could also be somebody new. And they could be a soulmate energy here. And like I said, it could be a friend. So it could be that you're already hanging out with this person and you don't even realize that you're looking right at your soulmate. Okay? Or you see them all over town or they're on your social media. You see them at gatherings. Whatever it may be. Take that as it resonates, Pisces. Let's get some more Lover's Oracle for you. Then we will move on to, again... <laughs> Your romance oracle, this is sticking out. Oh my gosh. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. All right. There we go. I really feel like for a lot of you that this is soulmate energy coming in. Wow. Okay. So that's already pretty intense what's going on here. I'm going to set this down for you. Okay, you're worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And I'm going to pull some Romance Angels Oracle for you, Pisces. What do you have for our Pisces today? That one almost came but changed its mind. What do you have for Pisces today, please? Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, yeah, I do feel like we talked about that. I do feel like for some of you that it, it could have to do with where you live or a separation or that. And we do have the justice card here. And we talked earlier about for some of you, there might be something to do with, um, you know, some type of um, not custody. What's the word I'm looking for? You know what I'm saying. Um some money involved, contracts, that sort of thing. So that won't be for everyone, but that's going to be for some. And it could also just be that you, some of you were, were sharing your living arrangements together. And that has. And the other thing about it is it could be that um, this is almost like working on pentacles, if you can see, working in the garden. It could be that some of you, you or your person was also um, working too much or something about... The career was conflicting um, in the relationship. 
This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, we talked about this. Friends, social media. Now, it could be your person that's coming back. Okay, you have soulmates confirmed here twice. But I feel like that this is a soulmate coming in for you, Pisces. And it's worth waiting for. Look, divine timing is at work in your love life. Spirit is with you. The divine is, is looking after you. It's not going to be for everybody, but, uh, right, you know, it might be. If you end up back together with someone, it could be that you have this person coming in and you have to choose. And this is really interesting because I really feel like for some of you that it's a cancer. We have a couple here because uh, this is a very similar reading in some ways. Very different cards except for a couple here, but a very similar reading. Keep an open mind. Your s what? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Pisces... Wow. Yeah, I talked about really about it maybe being someone you know or somebody, a friend that you've been friends with or that you're hanging out with or someone on your social media. Keep your eyes out. That is a message from spirit. It's all over here. It's being confirmed over and over and over. Soulmate is just all over the table here. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Wow. Yeah. Spirit is uh, guiding you. Divine timing is at work here. So have faith and trust in that because it's probably, it does, looks like it's not happening right away. And your questions, you know, about what happened could be answered already or maybe not. You might not get the answer, but I'm telling you, you're being guided here. You're being looked after. And it does look like there is somebody, a really song strollmate energy that you already know. Could be that they're coming in, secret admirer here, or it could be that this is a friendship and you don't even realize it, that they're kind of admiring you from afar. It doesn't mean that you don't know them. It just means they're a secret, Pisces. Wow, this flipped out already. So we're already on to song lyrics from your person. It might have appeared to go unnoticed, but I've got it, but I've got it all here in my heart. When beneath my wings, look. Okay, yeah, I do feel like, Pisces, that um, this person, your person, um, might be also a soulmate. But remember, you know, there are, there are many soulmates, okay? So these are the ones that stuck out, and here we go. It's because it also looks like there's a soulmate coming in. Wow, that's intense. I've noted from the moment that we met, no doubt in my mind where you belong, Adele, make you feel my love. Yeah, you know, whatever happened or this person did, whatever mistakes they made, everybody makes mistakes, but they do love you. They want you to know that whether or not you continue and you decide not to move forward with this person um, when they come. I never loved someone the way that I love you. Alicia Keys, Fallen. Wow. Yeah, I can see why you're, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. I can see why you have one foot in and one foot out, Pisces. Because there is a lot of love here and there is soulmate energy. Could be twin flames for some of you as well. So take that as it resonates. Not everybody follows the twin flame journey and that's okay. But... They do love you. It's not about the lack of love here. It just looks like you ran into something kind of major or something happened or possibly some infidelity or you just drifted apart. For some of you, you just don't feel like you belong together anymore with the orphan and the home card. You never need to doubt it. I'll make you so sure about it. God only knows. God for you, you know, spirit, goddess, God. The universe, what does that mean for you? Because you are being guided by spirit here. And you do have the trust here. It's calling for you to have faith. So take that as it resonates. All of my whole life through, I never loved no one but you, the Supremes, baby love. I know the grammar is funny on that, but that's the song. Could be that they were calling you baby. That also came up, I want to say, in Cancer. 
for those of you that um, have some cancer in your chart or uh, your person is cancer or have cancer in their chart, it's too cold outside for angels to fly. Hi, Dutch Pisces. So my camera um, stopped. I didn't just looked up and it had stopped. But fortunately, I noticed it. So I had only just laid down this card. Um, but this is what I was saying about it. It's too cold outside for angels to fly. Ed Sharon, the A-Team. And look, I feel like that's the case because you have to wait. You need to trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like that you have a lot of questions now for your person, but that's why I feel like that's why you're here. But I do believe that you're asking the universe, um, your God, your goddess, however that resonates for you, what is happening? What is coming for you? What's going on here? What's going on with your love life? And I do feel like you've gotten a lot of answers here and a lot of messages have come through for you that somebody new is coming, whether you will need to decide between somebody new and if your person, if you decide to get back together with them. So we do have the not for you card. Um, this is about trusting and having faith and what you believe in, you know, and having faith in, in, in waiting, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work. It's too cold outside for angels to fly. I, I just believe that this is about being patient. Oh, and these also came out, by the way, but I didn't, um, yeah, I didn't get a chance to read them <laughs> because my camera. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time, Cindy Lauper. Now, this could be something you guys have talked about, regardless of, the, of separating together, or maybe even deciding not to be together. There is a message for you from them that you can, that they're there for you, that they love you. And I do believe a lot of you also, this friendship card here, as we talked about earlier, could be representing someone in your life that is your soulmate, a new so another soulmate coming, a secret admirer, somebody who cares about you, that wants to go further, that you might not know. But it could also be, um, like we talked about, that this is about still being friends with your person and having a strong connection with them. And for some of you, that could mean that you, not everyone, but some of you might share children with them and um, that you need to be able to get along, okay? So I really do feel like um, you want to be there for each other regardless and for sure them for you. Now and then it seems that life is just too much, but you've got the love I need to see me through. Florence the Machine, you've got the love. Yeah, I really do feel like that both of you are still going to be there for each other regardless, and even if it takes time, because it, it is about trusting that, even if it might be um, conflicting and stressful now, because for some of you it does look like there's a little conflict with all the fives on the table. Or there was, there will be an answer. The Beatles, let it be. That just keeps coming up today. Yeah, I there there will be. There we go. There's another confirmation for you, Pisces. There we go again. Okay, to trust. That is trusting the situation, is trusting for you to have faith, and it's worth waiting for. There's so much a man can tell you, so much he can say. You remain my power, my pleasure, my pain, baby. Seal, kiss from a rose. This could be your song. That won't resonate for everybody. Maybe they called you baby. Or just this is a message to you from them. And this is uh, interesting. This was another card that was really coming up today. So this is a, a collective energy for sure. And I want to say that that also came with cancer. And I, I say that because if you know that, about obviously if your person is a cancer you might want to go and watch the cancer uh, reading love messages so here we go so we have one more flying on the floor of course it's the story of my life today <laughs> hope it didn't change the lighting too much this is the last one we will get and then we will move on to love messages with you i can't go wrong sunny and share i got you babe yeah, I feel like that this is another confirmation that your person is always there for you. So take that as it resonates, Pisces. We are looking now at my deck uh, also, the Tarot Closet Love Messages. And these are direct messages to you from your person. Well, there's already one coming down for you. Please forgive me. 
Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting for that apology. I do think something has happened here, you know, to be forgiven. And you know that, how it resonates for you. Okay, there's a big stack here. And we also have this one came out. And look, I'm sorry I ran. So it could be, um, like we talked about earlier, for some of you, there was some, oh, my battery is dying now. Jeez. Okay, just a second here. Okay, so here we go. I am afraid you will reject me. Yeah, I do feel like, look, you have not for you. So I do feel like that this person, your person, um, like we talked about earlier, can feel this energy and knows. You might also be ghosting them back now. It might be you in the seat, you know, the driver's seat now, protecting yourself because you have the Between the Worlds card. And we go to be fair here. So yeah, there's something that they need to be sorry for, it looks like, and they might be a little scared to come, whether that's to carry on or to make peace. But I do believe they want to and they're going to here. What messages do you have for your Pisces? Here we go. You have changed me for the better. Yeah, I do feel like you guys have been there for each other, actually. Regardless of what has happened, there is still love there and just a love and understanding for each other, whether you're together or not, especially if you're parents together. And that won't be for everyone. Look, so many songs remind me of you. Yeah, and some were sent today for you. And maybe not those exact songs are uh, what you're feeling like your person maybe was listening to, but these are the messages coming through, through the songs. Yes, I know you love me. Yeah, you want to know. You want to know more. Can you send some more messages for your Pisces, please? I will never give up on us. Okay, so it looks like for some of you, your person is not going to be giving up easily if you do um, decide to move on here. They do love you, but I feel like we talked about for some, sometimes it doesn't mean... Um, that people belong together. So that's up to you to decide, Pisces. That's your free will, your decision. You decide the outcome, okay? And that's not gonna be for everybody as well. Don't give up on us. Wow, yeah, I do feel like, like I said, some of you, your person knows um, that you're just thinking about it. I was scared. What do you wanna say to your Pisces, okay? Of course, it fell on the floor. <laughs> I've been on the floor all day today. My heart is yours. Uh, yeah, I do feel like that your connection, you have a, a deep connection, whether or not it, it, you know, you continue as partners. I, I do feel like you always will. I still want you. Yeah, so for some of you, your person is... Still wanting to be together, and I do feel like some of you are moving on. Let's get one more, and then we'll get a totem or two for you, whatever comes down. What do you want to say to your Pisces? Okay, let's, here we go. I miss you. I do feel that. Yeah, there's a really strong connection between you guys and you know soulmates came up a lot here three or four times I want to say so there is a deep connection so this is the totem box charms whoops I'll try to be quiet I do not look I don't want to be influenced here I'll get a actually a stack for you Okay, sorry, that was quite loud. Wow, that's interesting, look. So here's a guitar, two beats. So your person could be a musician, you could be a musician. It could also be, as we see, that they that you talk to each other through song. 
But here's the thing about a guitar. It can mean about needing to make some peace and harmony. And what do we have here? We have the peace card here. So, and we also have um, the harmony coming up here in your reading with the number six and needing to create it, needing to heal. It comes up with numerology for healing and um, harmony and like with another person. So this is a confirmation that you guys need to make some kind of peace. Whether it's to carry on as parents together, if you do share children or a child, or simply to move on, or for some of you to, to try again. But I do feel like a lot of you are possibly moving on here. And look, here it is again. There's another guitar. I don't have many guitars in here. There's a lot of totems in here. And there's only two guitars, and you got them both. And look, the thing about this guitar is it's about uh, peace, but it's also, look, it opens up. So there is something they want to give you. And I believe that that is, we talked about earlier, that they want to come and make some peace with you. And I feel like they're going to be coming to you for that. And that's another confirmation for you. Now we have an elephant here, which can mean about channeling strength or even being surrounded by people that you can count on. Um, but the biggest thing that I'm feeling here is an elephant has a great memory. And I feel like that you um, or your person, but I'm, I'm thinking this is you, might be holding on to something that you're not moving past with them that might be preventing you from having peace for yourself to move on with new love or just in general between you. Maybe something that they've already apologized for or not. We do have an apology here, but obviously you need to talk to this person, to your person, and uh, work, work that out together in person. Hear it from them in order to move on. But there's something you're hanging on to, and that is a message from Spirit for you, that it something to look at. You might want to consider moving on from something if it's already been been worked out and talked about and hashed out and there there is no change. If there's no benefit for you to, you know, to hold on to it, if it's not something you need to still talk about, that it's something for you to let go of now. And that is a direct message for you, Pisces. Take that as it resonates. Now we also have a flower. This is your last totem. And this is all about obviously growth and new beginnings. And I really do feel like for a lot of you that, you know, as we see here with the cards for you to trust in the timing here, that you, there is a new start for you. Now, whether that is with your person or with a new person, we see that here on the table. And I feel like you've already grown a lot. Just the fact that some of you are considering you're still wanting answers, um, but some of you are considering moving on, whereas maybe you might not have been before. And others, you know, you might still want to continue. It might be for you worth um, growing growing together. That's really beautiful. I feel like I want to get another one for you. I don't know. And then we will move on. <laughs> or... I guess it will be over. Look, very interesting. You got a little car here. So it could be for some of you that this is going to involve travel, whether or not uh, with your person or also a new person. That's interesting. And the other thing about getting the car is it's almost like getting the chariot card <laughs> in the tarot deck because it's almost like moving forward, um, that there is some change here, some movement. And I feel like that's also for you because I do feel like for some of you, you are moving on. And that is a confirmation that spirit knows where you're at. Look, okay, I haven't got this in a long time. And this is like getting the death card. It's skull and bones. Don't worry. This really is coming through for me that this is a new beginning for you, that something is ending. Now, whether it's this relationship and you are moving on, here we go again, or, or it's you letting go of something and starting over and having new beginnings. But either way, this is about the, the ending of something and the beginning. So it could also just be the end of your fighting or maybe your conflict and that you're going to make peace together. That's a really good sign, actually, for you today, Pisces. Be happy about that. <laughs> no, really, it's not a bad thing. Sometimes that scares people, but... Now you also have a starfish, which is a spiritually, one of the things it can mean is about making something good out of something bad. So I feel like you have learned a lot. You have grown a lot. 
Some of you might even continue on, like I said, and some of you might continue on without your person onto your next relationship or your future, and you've learned a lot. Your last totem, it's like getting the elephant totem in some ways because it's about channeling strength. Now this isn't about memories, but this is also about um, being kind of fierce. <laughs> and I do feel like for some of you um, that you have channeled that strength or it's a message from spirit to channel that strength and get a little bit um, more on your feet is what um, I'm hearing. So take that as it resonates. But that is your last totem for today. And that is your reading, Pisces. Thank you so much for being here. If you liked this video, please consider liking and sharing or subscribing. I would love it if you stuck around and I can get to know you. Either way, thank you so much. Please take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.